Hey, it's Tuesday on Monday, and today we're talking about stuff. Hi, everybody. So today is Monday, not Tuesday, and Megan is out of town. She will be here tomorrow. We switch days, and there you go. Go me, go me. But I thought of a topic this week, and that is if your house were burning down and you could only grab five things, assuming everything that is alive in your house has made it out safely, so you don't count those. And for the sake of this, I'm not counting my purse, which has my phone and my wallet in it, okay? Okay. My closet just exploded. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Closet exploded because I was rooting around looking for the things that I would save. Oh, Jesus. So, you know, you sift through your things. And, you know, there's the puka shells. My brother brought me back from Hawaii when he got married. There's my disco light. <laughs> my stuffed elephant from India. My hat. My jester hat that I bought at Shakespeare's birthplace. My Smith & Wesson 38 box. My original iPod. Look how thick that is. Guitar tuner. Picture from when I got my black belt. Season 13 of The Simpsons. My swing line stapler. Okay, but really? If I think about what I would really save, I mean... <laughs> I rip every single hair out of my head. Every single one of those things has memories for me. But I thought about the five key things. And so here are those five things. Number one. I love to read. My books mean a lot to me. <sighs> but I could rebuild that library. The book, the book that changed my life, really is my original copy that I got when I was 12 years old of Anne Frank, uh, Diary of a Young Girl. I'd say that because it is not just a book, but a symbol of the moment when I realized what the world was capable of and how much I wanted to know about the world. And I learned a lot about it through her eyes. The VHS, which someday it'll be antique, but the VHS tape of my wedding, which I have yet to transfer to DVD. I'm going to do that. It was the best day of my whole life, the best weekend of my whole life, and um, so many people who are no longer with us, including my dad, um, are on this tape. And I haven't actually just watched it in a long, 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 long time. Definitely not since my dad died. And I'm looking forward to the day that I'm ready to hear his voice again. Kind of goes along with that, my dad's Yankee hat. Uh, he was a big Yankee fan. I was not a big Yankee fan, but I'm a big fan of his. So it will forever be my Yankee hat. This painting. This is a painting that I actually had commissioned. There's this girl on Etsy. If you don't know what Etsy is, go check it out, etsy.com. And I sent her pictures of my two dogs, and she painted this down to the freckle, freckles on Tucker's nose are exact. And this is one of my most cherished possessions, I'm not lying to you. And when my dogs are long gone, this will always have a place on my wall. Because these beings have given me more love in their short lifetimes than I could ever have hoped for. And last is this giant bag that is filled with pictures from the prom, little girls who are now grown up and chasing boys and give me gray hair, me in Europe, me eating a jalapeno in Texas, softball team, babies on quilts that I made who are now old enough to spell, grandparents, boys I had crushes on, wedding pictures, husband with his mom as when he was a baby, me and my dad dancing at my wedding. This bag is my life. And I've always wanted to organize them and put them in photo albums. And it seems so archaic now, but yet something that I would always cherish. And I'm going to make this promise to myself. This will be my New Year's resolution, my early New Year's resolution, that I'm going to organize these pictures. But I would grab these and my painting and my dad's hat and Anne, and videotapes, and just maybe this, just to help me see out the door. That's all. It doesn't count. These are my things, and I love them, and I would save them. And I really want to know what you guys would save, and I really hope that it causes you to evaluate 
what's important, what do I need, what can I live without, because in this era and in this holiday of stuff, you know, it's the memories and it's the love and it's the relationships and the experiences that we remember and cherish and can't imagine letting go of. And even if all of these things burned up tomorrow, I would still have the knowledge and the memories and the love that they brought me. So those are my five. I want to know what your five are. I love y'all. Don't forget, contest till Friday. Enter Secret Santa.